Hello, welcome back to the start of another video. Fixture release day. Finally, something for us Plymouth Argyle fans to speak about. Obviously, a new sign-in yesterday. Um, the 26-year-old centre-half. However you want to pronounce his name, I'll leave his name up on the screen if you want to uh, try and give it a go. I'm not going to embarrass myself. But yeah, looks a promising young talent. Obviously, a nice young defender. Experienced in the Dutch league. Came through the um, Arsenal under-21 rankings. I don't really know too much about that uh, if I'm being honest, but looks a good talent. We can obviously all say, oh yeah, he looks a good player, but it's about how he performs on the pitch. I don't really like to talk about transfers too much unless they've been there, and unless they're an established player we've seen them about. But yeah, enough waffling on about that. First six games I want to speak about in particular to begin with. So in August, there's four games. Uh, Huddersfield home, Watford away, Southampton home and Birmingham away. And then the other two to conclude the six uh, will be partially through September, which will be Blackburn home and Preston away. So, obviously a home game. Uh, hopefully get home park full for the first game of the season you expect it to be. Hopefully the uh, home park fan base can be the 12th man, get three points on the opening day. Huddersfield home, feeling ver very confident. They're a side that have struggled as of late. Um, obviously just doing a very good job under Neil Warnock. So it'd be nice for Neil Warnock to come back in front of Home Park fans, obviously got a lot of respect for Neil Warnock, so as the Home Park crowd. And then Watford away and Southampton home. Watford away are a f funny one. I don't really know which way it can go. Obviously, it's going to be a very uh, hard season for Argyle fans to... Um... I'm hoping that we'll fill up most weeks. Obviously, it depends on results. That's probably why we haven't extended the capacity of the stadium. I think the chairman, Hallett, came out and said, obviously, it's a risky one to increase the size of the crowds to begin with just in case performances ain't going our way you know football's a results business and if we ain't getting the results we're not going to fill it most weeks so yeah Watford away and Southampton home obviously Southampton home to get them home early on in the season is a is a good thing for us because away they're going to be pushing to make a lot of sign-ins obviously appointed Swansea manager the other day they're going to be um, full of confidence if they get a few sign-ins and I think playing them early Playing them early on in the season will be a good thing for our guy. And then Birmingham away, another team near the relegation battle last season. Um, Blackburn home, another tough game. Obviously, they're losing a few players. And it's coming back to home park. And um, Preston away, Ryan Lowe's got away with that one. Very annoyed about that one in particular. Hoping that we'll get him at home first. But Preston away concludes the first six games. Right, and then I'll speak about the last six games quickly. So you've got Bristol, Rotherham, QPR, Leicester, Stoke, Millwall and Hull. Um, starting off them six games, Bristol at home, obviously a nice game, rivalry game, technically. Do I really see them as much of a rival? Probably not. Rotherham away, a long place to, well, a mediocre place to go. QPR home, team that struggled again last season, same as Rotherham. Leicester home, tough game. Stoke away, Millwall away, so two away games before concluding at the last game, which will be Hull City at home. So a nice home game to finish off the season. Hopefully we've uh, got safety by then and it's not coming down to that last game, so I don't know if my nerves can take it. So that, that's the first six games and the last six games. So I'll run through them in order, but I'll leave them on the screen for you guys to see. So obviously in August, we spoke about Huddersfield, Watford, Sun, Southampton, Birmingham and Blackburn and Preston for the first six. But then moving on, we got Bristol City, Norwich and Hull concluding September. So go by month by month. I think August is OK. September is OK. as it's Obviously, we don't really know until the August results come from. But on paper, it looks all right. In October, we've got Millwall, Swansea, West Brom, Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich. Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich are two games that are always close together. Save for the return fixture, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Another month on paper, which isn't too bad. And then we've got Middlesbrough in November. We've got Middlesbrough, Leeds, Southampton and Coventry. Middlesbrough and Sunderland both home this time round, which is good. So not too, um, not two very long journeys to conclude November, which is probably the toughest month on paper so far in them fixtures. In December, we've got Stoke, Leicester, QPR, Rotherham, Birmingham, Cardiff and Southampton, which Le Leicester and Southampton, probably the two toughest games in that month. January got Watford, Huddersfield, Cardiff and West Brom, which is another month which is OK at the moment in time. We don't obviously know what teams are going to do well, what teams will be in the top 10 and bottom 10 by the time these games come around. So not looking too bad on paper for me so far. 
February, uh, Swansea, Sunderland, Coventry, Leeds and Middlesbrough. I think this will be the toughest month. Swansea away, obviously a nice day out in Wales for um, people who want to go enjoy a nice day out in Wales. And then you've got Sunderland and Middlesbrough, which are two back-to-back -back away games. Well, not back-to-back, -back, but in the same month. Coventry leads at home, which isn't too bad. I think leads at home will be a very tough game. Coventry improved to be a strong team as of late. So I think so far, this is going to be the strongest month for me. In March, you've got Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday, Blackburn, Presser and Norwich. March is looking like the toughest fixture uh, list so far, actually. You've got Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday. Again, back-to-back, -back, which is very annoying. Two teams that have come up. Two teams that are going to invest very well into their squads. Blackburn away and Preston at home. Obviously, welcome Preston back to home park. That'd be a good game. And then Norwich away. So, oh, obviously, I'll leave it down to you guys if you want to, whatever you want to say. The toughest month is for us so far. April isn't looking too bad. I look at this. I look, always look at the first six and the April month uh, concluding the season. Bristol City, Rotherham, QPR, Leicester, Stoke and Millwall. Leicester at home as well, not away. So, on paper, if we're in a relegation battle, not that I'm saying that I hope we are in a relegation battle, but as the, obviously the bookies have got us to finish quite low down, we haven't made too many um, signings this summer. We're going to need to reinvest heavily in the squad to have a chance to stand up, in my opinion. Obviously, a lot of Plymouth fans might disagree, but it's a very, very tough championship this year. And then concluding the season, we've got a hole at home. So, a nice home game to finish the season. So, obviously, I'm going to leave it down to you guys to discuss, discuss in the comment what you think the toughest month is. On paper, we can only go by what's on paper so far, this early on into the season. I will make a prediction video after a few more signings have come out for a lot more sides. I don't want to do it too early on, you make yourself look like a tit. It's very hard to predict the table anyway. But yeah, with them fixture list, I'm very happy. I want to speak about the games that I'm most wanted to see. Um, obviously, that's all the fixtures, guys, for me to discuss on paper and throughout the course of the season. So, if you want to click off, feel free. But if you want to stay and listen to my opinion um, and see what games I'm quite excited to this year. So, starting off, obviously, Preston away. Shuey versus Lowe. I think Lowe's got a very lucky side of the draw of that. Obviously, quite early on in the season, it depends how well they invest in their squad. But, yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this. Obviously, away from home, it sucks. But, get that one out of the way early. And we'd look forward to bringing them at home park. Maybe when we're picking up results, we might pick up a few results early. But I think Preston away is going to be a nice crunch game to start. And then straight following that, Bristol City away from home as well. So two away games, which is quite annoying for us fans. That you'd really want at home at this uh, this side of the season. But yeah, moving on then, obviously, well, I've got a few family relatives that come from Sunderland. So welcome them at home. In November will be a very exciting one for me. I think two sides that play attacking football. I think Sunderland were quite unlucky to um, not be in a playoff final. I think the loot and home ground really helped them out a lot. Um, but yeah, unlucky for them and obviously exciting for me because we get to play them again. Uh, another relative, well not relative, but an another really close friend. QPR, 13th of December. Another away game, which is really, really annoying. And then on my birthday, Rotherham at home. So hopefully results go that way. For us on my on the day, um, and then yeah, going back to return fixture, Sunderland away from home in February, and then Preston at home in March. Um, coming up to the end of the season, which will be a really really big game. Hopefully both managers still there. Hopefully results are going away, so I've, neither manager gets you know the boot or whatever. Hopefully neither side gets their manager sacks. Obviously football's a result business. If results are not going your way, then it's gonna be very very tough to keep your job basically in the championship and then yeah that's all the games I'm quite excited to look forward to myself I do want to try and attend a few more away games obviously I'm a season ticket holder so I, I attend most home games when I can but away games this year I'm looking forward to a few um Ipswich away in October a couple away in Wales a nice weekend away in Wales will be um good February it's annoying that the my well, one's on Boxing Day, which is highly annoying. Won't be able to attend that. But yeah, looking forward to the big one. Southampton, Leeds and Leicester away, which will be good this year. A couple of new grounds to visit. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave. I don't want to waffle on too much. Already about eight or nine minutes into the video. Obviously, let me know how you feel about how the fixtures have gone in, in our favour and what games you think will be tough. Um, let me know who, if you're excited about the new signing. I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays and how he performs in pre-season. I think that'll give us a good uh, ground mark on where we stand with him. 
obviously a few more signings will be very very welcome in due course but that's where i'm going to leave it this is obviously a first um video back in a while i'm going to try and post more um but it's going to be difficult at the moment obviously a new baby and stuff so um keep um patient with me i will try and upload and give you guys as much content as possible obviously the vlogs will be regular as much as i can obviously i will try to attend those home games um a few away games as well to give you guys um a lot of content throughout the uh, course of the year let me know what other videos you guys are looking forward to seeing uh, if you want me to post transfer news then feel free to comment that down below but yeah thank you guys for watching um and yeah until hopefully the season starts um might upload a couple of videos if i can or um if there's a few exciting news hopefully morgan Whitaker could come about that'll be a big video but yeah um that's where i'm gonna leave it thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time See you guys again shortly.